What's up guys? Okay, last episode of the My Guy series. We're talking tight ends today. I haven't talked a lot about tight ends. I'm sorry about that. I still haven't released my top 10 tight end video. I will get that out as soon as I can. But I did want to let you guys know who the tight ends are that I'm targeting this year. So I am a firmly of the mindset that you don't want to wait too long on tight end this year because the drop off between the potential guys that could blow up and the huge giant mess of tight ends that are going really late. Um, you don't want to wait that long. And um, I, I, there's, a, there's a sweet spot where you want to take them. Obviously, you know, if you don't get Gronk, I'm not, I'm not in on the Kelsey Ertz wagon. Uh, I think they're going too early, but if you get a tight end in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, or even the eighth round, you get one of the guys that I'm about to mention. I think that's right where you want to take them. But anyway, my first guy, I've also really come around. I was pretty down on him until um, all the news has been positive. Aaron Rodgers uh, gave it away right there. Aaron Rodgers loves the addition. They just talked about how Aaron Rodgers is stoked for this offense because of Jimmy Graham. Now, granted, Jimmy Graham is not the tight end that he used to be. If he was, he'd be going the first round because he's playing with Aaron Rodgers, but he's going at a discount right now because he definitely has lost a step. He's not as fast as he used to be. He's not the tight end that you want going deep down the middle, uh, you know, across the middle of the field. But Aaron Rodgers had said in an interview, he thinks the Seahawks uh, underutilized him and used him in the wrong fashion. Well, you bet Aaron Rodgers is not going to make the same mistake. So he is going to utilize Jimmy Graham in the way that he needs to be used. There's honestly not as many mouths to feed in Green Bay as there has been in years past. Jimmy Graham could easily get double digit touchdowns and um, I think it will surprise people with the amount of yards and receptions that he gets as well. Um, his price is a little high right now, which which is unfortunate. But if you get a solid, like the first, if you get a solid good four picks, two running backs, two wide receivers, and you're happy with your team, and you just want to like shoot for the moon and take an extremely high upside tight end in the fifth round, Jimmy Graham is your guy. Uh, if that's too expensive for you then wait until the end of the sixth, early seventh, and take Delaney Walker. So I think the tight ends are poised, the uh, tight ends, the Titans, sorry, the Titans are poised for a gigantic boost in their offensive production this year uh, by getting uh, Matt LaFleur. Um, their offense is gonna be less, uh, less stale than it was last year. They couldn't get anything done on the ball, but uh, Marcus Mariota is a dynamic quarterback. They got Deion Lewis to help uh, add to the dynamics there. And I think the Titans, they have to be better than they were last year. And Delaney Walker is Marcus Mariota's safety blanket. Um, he's pretty much a lock to get eight touchdowns and about 60, 70 receptions for eight, 900 yards. Um, but that's a solid week in, week out guy. He's not the kind of guy that you, you draft if you're shooting for the moon. He's not the kind of guy that can get you a 30 point week, but he's the kind of guy that you're never going to be sad that is in your roster and or you know on your lineup week by week so if you have a solid roster and you just need a tight end that's not going to screw your team and put up a dud like hunter henry did a few times last year delaney walker is a solid pick i love him he's going really 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 late right now you can get him in you know typically around the seventh round like the beginning of the seventh round and i think that's a, a really good place to take him and then um my last guy that i'm really excited to take this year and i hate saying it as a packers fan I don't like cheering for other teams in our division, but you know, when it comes to fantasy football, who really cares? I like Trey Burton a lot this year. I think Trey Burton um, definitely, they, they showed us again that they really want him to do well. They paid him a lot of money and he is showing in training camp and in preseason that he's going to be a really good value at the tight end position. I hate preseason because it always causes guys that I love at their ADP to skyrocket. You know, just a week ago, you are able to get Trey Burton in the ninth round. He's already up to 7-11 because of all the good news that has been coming out. But that's just because people wait until the preseason to pay attention. Get Trey Burton on your team. He's going just a little bit after Delaney Walker. If you're drafting towards the end of the seventh round and Walker is gone, who cares? Just take Trey Burton. I think he definitely has a lower floor than Delaney Walker. That's why I don't have him ranked in the same tier. But I think uh, Trey Burton is, you know, he has enough upside that it warrants taking a risk on him over like some of the safer guys that 
like Kyle Rudolph that are going around him. If you're looking for a guy, again, if you're shooting for the moon with your tight end position, I think I would take Trey Burton over some of the other guys that have in the same tier. So anyway, those are my guys this year. I want to walk out of the draft with one of them, either Jimmy Graham, Delaney Walker, or Trey Burton, anyone else. I'll be be a little more sad if I if I walked out of the draft with that one of those guys. But anyway, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you haven't drafted yet, please download my PPR tiers. They are absolutely free, no charts. Click the link in the description box below. You can download those. I will update those a few more times before the season starts just to make sure that you guys are prepared for whenever your draft is. I'll be updating it you know, with injuries and, and uh, additional preseason news as week three goes on. This is a big week for preseason because this is when we see uh, the most of the starters play. So any news that comes out, any injuries that happen, I'll be on it and get you guys those updates sent out. But anyway, hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll be ready to kill it in your drafts and hope you guys have a good night. Peace.